Hello everyone, my name is Joe Snell. I'm owner of Apocalypse Canning Company. Uh, we're going to make a little YouTube video here. This is my first one. All the time I get asked, hey, how do you make those aluminum foil rounds for your cannons? Well, that's what we're going to do today. Some of the things you're going to need. Aluminum foil. You want the heavy duty stuff, not the cheapy dollar store stuff that you find. That stuff just doesn't hold up. You want some kind of a form, a tube, to roll your rounds on. Uh, a lot of times you can use the rammer or whatever cannon it is you're using. I've got a couple other little ones here. I roll rounds on these all the time. Today we're making one for a golf ball cannon. So I found this little uh, medicine tube. It's the perfect size for golf balls. You're going to need black powder. In my cannons I always use cannon grade black powder. Uh, you're going to need some kind of... I use this. It's a deodorant can. If you're just making blank rounds, I use this to form the top of the round, so we'll get to that in a second. If you're actually going to be loading a projectile, you're going to need a piece of cardboard, some scissors, and whatever you're rolling your rounds on. To keep your wives happy, you're going to want a piece of scrap, uh, just a piece of old plain Jane wood, scrap piece of wood. I'll explain that when we get to it. And that's about it. I'll go ahead and get started. You're going to tear off a piece of aluminum foil about three times the length of what you need your round to be. You want to be working on a good and flat surface here. You want to make sure there's nothing on here that's going to get rolled into your round. So if you had a ham sandwich or something, wipe that off the table first. I'm going to start with a piece about 12, 13 inches long. You're going to fold that into thirds. I'm going to make nice, sharp, crisp lines. Just about like so. Nice and flat. Be careful not to get any cuts on your fingers from the edges of that aluminum foil. Sometimes that can be pretty sharp. We're going to take your form. And you're going to wrap that. You're going to leave just a little bit hanging over the edge because you're going to fold that over later. And you're going to start rolling it just as nice and flat as you can. You want to keep it kind of tight. I always put my finger on the end so there's a little bit of tension there. Once you've got it rolled, you're going to fold those ends over. About like so. Remember that piece of scrap wood we were talking about later? That's so you don't scratch up the table. Once you've got it this far, you're going to press it. Just kind of twist it back and forth. Hopefully you can see that on the camera pretty well. Makes a nice flat edge. Something I like to do with the bigger sizes like this, on my little medicine tube here, I poked a couple holes in it. So when you slide that out, it doesn't create a vacuum and it's a lot easier to get these tubes out. I always pre-measure my powder first. I know just the right amount. I've got a little mark here on this clear cylinder. Uh, something else I like to do make a funnel out of a milk jug. Nice and handy. I just kind of put that in the top there. That way all the powder goes into the tube where it's supposed to be and not all over the table. Again, makes the wives happy. You're not making a mess. Make sure it's in there nice and flat. Now there's a couple different ways to go from here. If you're actually going to be firing a projectile and you want to make that part of your round, the cardboard we talked about you're going to take whatever it is you used for your form, it was this one here, you're going to trace some circles out onto that. I've already cut one out to save some time. If you're going to be shooting a projectile, you put that in there first, put your golf ball in, and you can just form that over, press it nice and flat. Uh, we're not going to be making a live round, we're just making a blank. So I'm going to try and fish that cardboard out of there. Usually what I do is I press it together in kind of a plus shape, just like that. Then I give it a good twist. Kind of fold it down. Your can of deodorant, or you can use a paint can or whatever, as long as it's got that nice concave shape there. I always make mine nice and round. This helps pack it in. I just kind of push it on top, kind of go round and round with it. This does a couple of things. This really compresses that black powder. Some people think it makes the cannon a lot louder. I haven't seen that it really makes all that much difference. 
to me it just makes a nice look better looking shape you have a rounded end and a flat end you always want to feed the flat end down into your cannon first that's about all there is to it pretty simple stuff we're gonna have more videos coming out check out our website apocalypse cannon company fourth of july is coming up soon be safe